Hi, welcome to the Calculus 2 lecture series. And um, this is a unit number four. We talk about a sequence and a series. This is the lecture number 24. And uh, we are focused on the Taylor and the McLaurin series. This is the third video about these uh, lectures. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, is the binomial coefficients here. So some of the McLaurin or Taylor series, we can use the binomial, binomial coefficient, try to expand the function to the Taylor and the McLaurin series. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to our lecture notes here. Okay, before we defined uh, what is the uh, binomial coefficients. I think the, uh, if you watch this uh, um, video, you probably already and uh, have the, your calculus, not your algebra two class in high school before. So in high school, uh, I, you know, I don't, you know, you guys, uh, your teacher, um, talk about uh, we call this the uh, Pascal, right? Triangle. So for the Pascal triangles here, let me put a, a little bit over here. Okay, so the, we talk about the Pascal triangle. So if you still remember, we have like a one one, then like this is the one twenty one one. So like this one two one. Right, so you just add this two, add this two, kind of you add this two, become two, right? Then you have one, three, three, one, and you have one, four, six, four, ones, right? So this is, we talk about this is the, when the n is equal to two, and this is n equal to three, and this is n equal to four. And uh, so this is n equal to one, and uh, this is n equal to zero, right? So like in here, so basically we are trying to expand uh, like a plus b to the nth powers here. Or if you want, you can say it's a case powers, right? So the now in here, if the when we talk about n equal to two, so let's take a look. That means uh, for this one here, okay. So let's means you try to ex expand a plus b to the square. So this will give you the if the coefficient of front. So you start with the first is a to the square. Then you drop one, so it'd be two to the a, right? And then you b. So like in here, if you put uh, the exponents here, so a one plus by one plus one stays two, right? And then here you got uh, what here? You got b squares, right? So this is uh, what you see here. This is one two one, right? Because this is the a square is one. B squared is once, right? So that's why you get a one, two, once here. So the same way is here for this Pascal triangle, we say this is A plus B to the cube, right? So we say we start with A to the cube, and then the next coefficient is a three. Then A cube, we drop one, so it's A squared. Then we start the B, so it's B zero, B one. And uh, so if the B1, one plus two stays three, right? And then the next coefficient, this is a three A B what? Squares, right? So this is a three A B squares here. And then you will have a what? A B cube. So this is a what we call the, is the binomial expansions here. So like, uh, so the, like in here, you will have like, then if you do the fourth power, then you can have the a fourth part of four, a, so like in here for this one, this is a plus b the four, right? So you have a fourth plus four a cube b plus six a square b square plus four a b cube plus b fourth, right? So those are the coefficient you have here, right? That's what your coefficients here. Okay, so this one's here. So how do I get, uh, for example, this coefficients here? 
All right. So like in here, how do I get uh, this coefficients here? All right. So this is the one. So this is like what? So here this is. So this one's here, we use uh, this notations. Some like in the book, we use like a four, right? You take what? You take one. Okay, so four, you take one. So because you start, so this A force. So let's see here. So make sure we understand how did this derive. So this is A force B zeros, right? So this is A three B one. So that means out of the four, I take I take one see here, right? I take one, and then my A will be four minus one power, and then my B is what? My B is the first power, see here. So the same way, see here, this one, see here, you can say is the six, right? So this one, this term, see here, that means six, right? And you, I'm sorry here, so this one is still is a force, right? So the, in here you will have the four, but now you are going down to the second ones here. So it's a four take to the two. Then the A is a four minus two become A two, right? And the B to the what? B two, right? So that's how is this uh, was expanded. So what is these terms here? Okay, this is a, what we call the, the polynomial coefficients here, right? So the total, in here, take a look here. Total, you have a four. Then, what the a force is one, right? So this is a coefficient is one, right? So how do you get this ones here? It will be what four zero, right? So a is four minus zero, b is zero. So that's why the first term here, right? So that's why the first term here, yeah. So let's uh, you will get is this ones here. Right, so like the second terms here, like for example, the A3B1, so how did you get an A3B1, right? It's right in here, all right? So those, so like a 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 0, those what I called is the binomial coefficients here. So for the, for the Pascal triangle, we're dealing with is like your, powers here, it's like a first power, second power, three, four, like an A plus B to the one, two, three, four. In fact, you know, the exponents can be any, num any non-negative numbers here. So now let me formally define the, the binomial coefficients here, okay? So the binomial coefficient, we say that any real number and uh, any real number k and a uh, uh, non-negative n, then the binomial coefficient is defined uh, as uh, k to the n, see here. So like we said, the k can be any number and n is non-negative numbers here, right? So the is the any real number, then and the, the n's here is what the n is non-negative number. Then this is how do we define the you know the the binomial coefficient. So what is the binomial coefficients here? The binomial coefficients here down here will be n factorial. Okay, then the top here will be k, k minus one, da, 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 da. And uh, so let's say here, this is a k minus two, then da, 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 to where k minus n plus one. Okay, so basically what you see here, so here, we just have how many terms here? So overall here have n terms. So if here you are doing divided by five, five factorial, then you will have five terms. So let's take a look. 
this one's here, the example before we give another um, definition here. So like in here, they say the six takes four. Okay, six takes four. So based on my the definition here, the bottom will be four factorial, right? So the top start with six. So it's six going down one every time. Six times five times four times three. You see here, so this, you know, how many terms here? This have four terms, right? It's just like the four factorial. And I know the four factorial is one times two times three times four. Right now here is a six times five times four times three. Now we can start to cancel out something. Six and two, three can cancel. Four, four can cancel. So what is the answer for this one here? This one is equal to 15 here, right? Okay, so let's take a look. This is a four third to the fives here. Okay, so the four third to the five, so this one here, it will be five factorial, right? So now I start with a four third, then I times each time I go down one. So four third minus one is one third, all right? Then one third go down one is negative two third. Then the negative two third go down one will be negative five third. And then the negative five third go down one is negative a third. So you count it one, two, three, four, five, right? So it's matched five factorial. And then you can put it into the calculator. And uh, so five factorial is one times two times three times four times five, right? So this will be negative a over three to the six factorial and no, six power. So this will be negative a seven to nine here. Okay, All right. So before we do next one, let's go take a look here. In here, I, for, I miss a very important. So it's a non-negative integer. Okay, so n has to be a uh, whole numbers here, okay? And uh, so now let's take a look for, so, okay, so this is our definition for the binomial coefficients here. So like I said, for any real number, okay, so if I want to explain expand the one minus x to the case power. So the one minus x to the case power, and uh, if you use my Pascal example, it will be one plus kx, then plus, now this is a k take two, so it's a two factorial k, times k minus one. So this is x squared. And uh, then three factorial k times k minus one times k minus two, da, 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 da. So this one's here, the, what is here? We use this notation kn and uh, x to the nth, right? So the expansion of this is what? The, so this is what? This is a Maclaurin series. Okay, so that means if you if you want to expand the one plus k one plus x to the k here, you'll be able to expand it to a Maclaurin series here. Okay, so now let's take a look here. So let's say expand the one plus x to the sixth power, right? So for this one here, you can use Pascal triangle and find it. But now let's see here, right? So we know, so maybe we should go back to here. Let's go back to here, right? So the this one's here, let's try to rewrite uh, this one. So this one, it, you can write is the summation n from zero to what? n from zero to k here, right? So this will be what? k to the n, right? Then it's 
x to the what k minus uh, well, now x is equal to the n's right here. So that is what will be the Maclaurin series here. Okay, so now let's take a look. Expand the one plus x to the six here. So let's try to do here. First, I have a six to the zero. Okay, so six to the zero is a what? Is like a one. Then I have a six to the one. What is the six to the one here? Is a six, right? Then I have a six to the two. So based on my coefficient will be six times five, one times two. What, uh, what is this one here? It's a 15. Then I have a six to the three. So six to the three here will be what? One times two times three, six times five times four. So I will have a 20. Then I have a six to the four. So just try to practice one more time. So six times five times four times three. One, two, three, four. All right, so this is a 15. And uh, six to the five, this will be six, five, four, three, two. One, two, three, four, five. So this will be what? This will be six. Then the six to the six will be one here. Okay, so now when the six to the zero, right? So the what is my x x terms here? So my x terms will be what x to the what x to the zeros, right? So this is the I'm going down one. So this is my x one term. This is a what? This is my x two term. And uh, what is this? This is my x3 terms, right? And uh, what is this? This is my x4 term. And uh, this, this is my x5 term. This one here is x to the six terms. Okay, so now let's try to write it out. So I know the one plus x to the six will be one plus six x plus 15 x squared plus 20 x cubed plus 15 x fourths plus six x fifths plus x six. All right, so let's, how did you expand this one here? All right, so also if you take a look for the binomial expansion, this will be symmetric. So this is a six is a six, right? And uh, this is a 15, this is a 15 here. Then the one verse one here. Okay, so now the second one here, second problem number three, let's take a look at how do we do this one here. Let's say, how do I find the coefficient for the binomial expansion of like the one plus x here? Okay, the binomial coefficient of the one plus x here, all right? Okay, so now in here, this one here, we'll say this is uh, square root of one plus x is equal to the one plus x to the one half, right? So they want to find uh, the fifth terms here, right? So they want to find uh, the fifth term. That means uh, what I'm going to take one half to the which terms here? To the fifth terms here, right? So the x to the fifth, right? So that's why they want to find uh, is the x to the fifth here, right? So see here, the x to the fifth is you take a five here, right? Okay, so now this is the, okay, so now I see here, this is the button is a five, five factorial, so it's one times two times three times four times five, okay? Then the top here, we start with one half, then I need to minus one, so it's a negative one half, then negative minus one, negative three half. Then negative three half minus one is negative five half. And the last one see here is a negative what seven halves, right? So how many turns you have? You have one, two, three, four, five. 
minutes, right? Okay, so now you calculate that uh, and you will get this is seven to the 256. So I know the square root of the one plus X will be one plus da, 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 da to the fifth uh, fifth powers here, right? So it will be seven of the two, five, six to the X to the fifth. Okay, all right. So now the last problem is here, find the power series for this one see here. So for this one see here, we say, okay, so let's do the same thing. So the F of X is equal to square roots of the four plus X. Okay. Okay, so this will be the four plus X to the what? To the one half. Based on what we have over here, right? So the, you know, we know we can expand it to the, you know, for any real number, we can expand this one to a power series here. Okay, so here we should be careful. This is going to the infinities here, all right? So I will try to match this form here, okay? So just like we manipulate the geometric series before. Okay, so what I can do here, I can factor the four out. So this will be one plus X over four to the one half. Right, so the x over four to the one half, so four to the square root one half is what is a two. Okay, so this is a two, and then this is one plus x four to the what one half. So this is my new x. Then I can plug into the formula we just uh, we just wrote here. So this will be two. You have a summation n from zero to infinity, right? Now we have the n case, right? Kn, so it's one over two to the n, then the x to the what? The x to the n's powers, right? But what is my x here? My x here is what? It's x over four to the what? To the n's powers here, okay? And uh, so if you want to simplify a little bit, and then this will just be, it's not really much to simplify this. And zero to infinity. So this is one half N, and uh, this is the four N X to the what? X to the N here. Okay, right? So that is how do we use the binomial expansion, the coefficient to help us to find the power series and for some functions here. Okay, and uh, let's see it. This is a pretty easy topic here, all right? So the, the key things we try to capture here is remember what is the binomial coefficients uh, definitions, right? So K can be any real number. N is a non-negative integer here because you try to find the power series, right? So N is equal to zero, one, two, three, four, right? Now we say for any real numbers here, so the one plus X to the K, just similar like to the Pascal, you triangle we learned before, you can expand that here. All right, okay, that's it. And uh, that is, is about uh, this lecture about the Taylor and the McLaurin series. Okay, so nice to talk to you. Okay, have a good day, bye-bye.